But I told the kids, I said, I'm not even going to let you eat breakfast until you get your chores done. Popular YouTube mommy vlogger Ruby Frankie once had millions of subscribers following her tough love parenting advice online. I was really hoping that like keeping them home from school and wiping the floorboards would like really bring pain. But now. She's being live streamed from a Southwest Utah courtroom after being charged with abusing her children. Sitting in a prison jumpsuit, appearing alongside her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, a judge saying she will continue to be held without bail. Miss Frankie, can you hear me? Yes. My understanding, Miss Frankie's being held on a Nobel hold at this point. Uh, she's going to re remain on a Nobel hold uh, for the time being. Neither defendant saying much. Jody Nan Hildebrandt? Safe. Yes. And neither have entered a plea yet. Frankie and Hildebrandt were arrested last week and charged with six counts of felony child abuse. Email does have gun tape around his ankle. He's not telling the RPU why. And said that there's sores around his wrist and ankles. The horrific allegations surfacing after Frankie's 12-year-old son escaped through a window at Hildebrandt's home and ran to a neighbor's house pleading for food and water, according to authorities. That neighbor calling 911. Tell me exactly what's happened. I just had a 12-year-old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. And he uh, says he just came from a neighbor's house and we know there's been problems at this neighbor's house. He's emaciated, he's got tape around his legs, he's hungry and he's thirsty. At one point, the neighbor having trouble uttering the words, becoming emotional at the boy's condition. He has duct tape around each ankle. Yeah, there's sores around him. I think they, it's a good chance he's been uh, Oh, and he has them around his ankles. I mean, his wrists as well. Okay, this boy has been... <laughs> this kid has obviously been... I think he's been... He's been detained. He's been... He's obviously covered in wounds. The Mormon mother of six gained online fame with her strict and often controversial parenting advice. Court documents alleging further details of abuse and neglect, noting that the 12-year-old was severely malnourished and had deep lacerations from being tied up with rope and from his malnourishment. Authorities also claiming that Frankie's 10-year-old daughter was found malnourished inside the home owned by Frankie's business partner, Jody Hildebrandt. Jody Hildebrandt is a businesswoman who created this parental help organizations this consulting business to help teach parents how to discipline and raise their children the state of duress of frankie's two young children leaving authorities in shock i'm just sorry that those two little ones had to be the ones to go through that to get to this point no child should have to go through that especially some that young it's emotional to a lot of people. It's even emotional to me, and I've been doing this a long time. According to court documents, four of Frankie's children were taken into Child Protective Services. Lieutenant Warren Foster with Springville PD describing the officer's efforts to locate Frankie's other two children that are minors after they were initially unable to find them. And we have no idea what their conditions were, the other two children. What's their condition? What's their situation? Where are they? And who are they with, if they're with anybody at all? All the charges that Frankie and Hildebrand are facing, it's all the same one. It's called aggravated child abuse, but they're different types of, or different forms of child abuse. We're talking about multiple injuries or torturous behavior. They were deprived of food and malnourished. That's another form of aggravated child abuse. And that severe emotional harm that came upon them, those encompass all six of the felony charges against the two defendants. New details emerging about Frankie's past have many asking why something wasn't done sooner to protect her children. ABC News has obtained records showing police responded to the Frankie home more than a dozen times over the last few years, including reports of juvenile problems in 2018 and welfare checks in 2022. What was law enforcement's experience with the Frankie family? Over a year ago, uh, we started getting a few phone calls from neighbors and family that there was some things that need to be investigated where they felt like it was a necessity to go talk to the family, 
at least to the children, to find out if there was any merit to any of the allegations. But those attempts unsuccessful. Lieutenant Foster says Child and Family Services were unable to speak to the children and filed a request for a warrant to enter the home. Even though it was submitted to the judge, the judge obviously felt that there wasn't enough based on the information that they had. So the warrant was not signed and it wasn't granted. And so there wasn't much they could do at that point. And so I don't know what they did after that, but I do know that we did get involved after that. Do you know your mom and dad are? He doesn't know where his dad is. He just says he doesn't live around here. Their father, Kevin, so seen crazy. here in one of Ruby's many social media videos. Kevin and I have decided that we are going to give the gift of truth to them. Has denied any wrongdoing through his attorney, Randy Kester, who says the couple's been estranged and living apart for more than a year. He's a good person. He's very gentle. He's a very gentle guy, and no one's ever made any allegations that he's ever physically abused those kids or anyone else. Abuse like this doesn't happen in a vacuum, so I don't think this investigation is done by any stretch of the imagination. Frankie, once telling millions to follow her parenting advice, now fighting allegations of child abuse. Another court hearing scheduled for September 21st. For Nightline, I'm Kana Whitworth, ABC News, 